do you believe I'm ready? Okay, <laughs> here we are. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are you making, CJ? Hey, thanks hey, for asking. No problem. <laughs> I appreciate that. So, you guys know Todd, right? <laughs> he is notably, like, world-renowned, right? World you in the universe. Oh, there is something on the front of this. He's known for his bacon fried corn. What about bacon fried corn 2.0? I know. An Just upgrade. when you thought the first one couldn't get any better, it did. Well, today I'm here to tell you, bacon fried corn 3.0 is dropping. Just when I thought... <laughs> just, just when it couldn't get any better, it does. Ask me, why 3.0? Uh, hey CJ. Yes sir. Why 3.0? Good question. One, bacon fried corn 1.0 is Todd. Bacon fried corn 2.0 is Todd. 3.0 is me. Three, what? Me tug dog, yeah. Okay. We're gonna have some fun with this. I'm gonna take a little bit of Todd. We're actually gonna infuse a little bit of Betty into making bacon fried corn 3.0. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. I don't know, man. I just felt it was way too aggressive. Do it again. <laughs> that was way under aggressive. Come on, do it again. Oh, wait, where? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get our griddle. We're gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna need a couple of these. Couple of them? Couple. We're gonna get this set to low. Why is that? Well, why don't I tell ya? Uh, we're gonna be doing some pancetta and we're gonna wanna get a slow render of the fat with uh, while we cook it. If we go too hot and too high, it's gonna be way too crispy. Which crispy bacon is nice. You well, like we, we crispy bacon. We want crispy. We just want the fat to render slow. out slowly. We want it slow. Basically, he's trying to repeat what I just told him two minutes ago. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you saying something? Yeah, I was. I uh, couldn't hear. What do, what do you call it? What do you call me? What do you accuse me of? High backseat cooking? Yeah, you hijack. You backseat cook. Whatever. Let us get our pen. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be easier. So let us acquire a giant freaking. Uh, Oh, we're gonna go with both Blade. of them? Dude, yeah. we're gonna go pancetta town. Why not? Right? Pancetta's so good. If you've never had pancetta, it's a bit saltier than bacon. Which uh, is not a problem. No, 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 no not no, a problem no. at all. No. But it's almost like its own seasoning. Let me uh, spread this out a little bit. Get our surface area prepped so this can slowly start to heat up. Yep. And uh, we shall be good to go. Just in case this actually happens. Looks like rain's coming. I know. Oh, dude, you got a clip of your yard. Oh, two my, days ago. We're my, gonna cut to that clip right now because <coughs> it was a, a freaking lake in his backyard. Yeah. Every freaking day, bro. So this is my yard. If you can't tell how deep this is, that's right here. So we're yep. about to experience that potentially. Potentially. So we got to get scooting, man. All right. So while we have our pancetta cooking, yeah, which is right over here, we are going to get to business with. I would say the Betty slice of this, yeah. right? So Todd, um, Todd uses traditional bacon, which is awesome. But we're gonna give it the 3.0 version, which is it's using kind of, it's a Betty twist. Yeah, it's it's got a bit of a, a Betty bit of loving. We're gonna zhuzh it up, Betty style. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not unusual to be loved by everyone. You're Tom Jones, right? It ain't unusual, eh? Tom, Tom, can I have an autograph? What on up? I don't even know why I started singing that. My tomatoes are doing great, but uh, only my little cherry tomatoes. How many tomatoes, uh, different varieties of tomatoes are you growing, CJ? It doesn't matter, because I don't want to like, I don't want to like- You don't brag? Brag about the amount of tomatoes that I'm growing. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, uh, hey quick, the I'm amount of tomatoes to that a man grows is between him and his vines. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's actually a little bit of action going on, so we were at really low heat. Hey. Now it's slowly starting to go. Hey. How about I make that transition? <laughs> so if we go over here, you can actually start to hear the uh, sear is starting to take place. It's slow, it's steady. It's rendering. Rendering <laughs> that. Like the corner of my mind. <laughs> Memories, like the corner of my mind. I, I mentioned this actually on the last video. I feel like there's a very elegant way to cut tomatoes. Yeah, you'll, but... get, you'll get it one day. I mean, you're mostly there, bud. Am I? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
That was okay. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. Let's give this a toss, shall we? we Start to see some color. color. Oh, that smells so amazing. Bro. Have you ever had pancetta? It really is a, a different experience than bacon. Yeah, it's kind of got more pr like a prosciutto smell. Yeah, it's got more like, you know, more, more class. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat bacon. I eat pancetta. my line, and there's no way you know it. Dang it. I didn't, I didn't well, hear it all. It's my new thing. Nope. I don't know it. Dang it. Oh, I'm going to put it in the edit. If, if you know it, put it in the comments below. Red onion. Red onion. <laughs> it's a nice knife you got there. It's all right then, mate. That's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. Totally haven't used that one before. Yeah, uh, which that's actually kind of surprising and shocking. Because it's such a fantastic movie. It really is. And probably the least underrated soundtrack. Oh, for a movie. I'm not sure that I'm familiar with it. It's just the theme song. The theme song. It is so... Oh, I, I don't even say anything. I'm slicing up red onion, guys. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be giving this a very, as small of a dice as I can, which this could be... Uh, almost a mince? Yes, this, uh, uh, probably a mince. Yeah, you're, you're close to a mince. It's probably going to be a mince. The only reason I know that is because Nate just said that. There is definitely a better way to do this, and that's probably going to be enough onion. I think so. Yeah. Man, I'm scared of this knife. <clears throat> let's the set the rest one. of this. The let's set the rest of this aside. Okay. Okay. Let's check on our bacon real. Or our bacon. I'm used pancetta. to saying the pancetta. Let's give it another. Gentle. There. Yeah, bro. I would, if it were my first cooking show. But I don't want to know what you would do on your show. I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> Are you going to tell me? I crank the heat up. I knew you were going to say <laughs> that. What are you doing, CJ? I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. Because now it's had time to render its fat slowly. We can start getting it a little crispier now. Yeah. Is that what you would have said on your first show? Yes, yeah, exactly what I would have said. I know. Oh, by the way, somebody that I don't personally know. Oh, here we go. Here we may go. have purchased a shirt. What shirt, uh, CJ? It, it's not It's not relevant whose shirt. Actually, it's 100% relevant. CJ's first cooking show shirt. Yeah. So, uh, Butch. Butch, I can't remember his, you uh, are the man. His he is YouTube the crazy pop. Handle. Crazy pop, that's right. Yeah, awesome videos. Butch, if you guys haven't seen him yet, go check him out. To you, good sir, I tip my hat. You I'm gonna, good? I'm going to move this over a little bit more. That feels good. The smell's done. You ever heard that phrase? Because it actually makes a lot of sense. But I don't think it's done yet. It smells 80% done. There you go. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Glad you're starting to get the lingo, guy. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait. What? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why. I didn't say thank you. Let's get our onion out of the way. Let's oh, wait. Our... We have, uh, yeah, we have parsley some... and basil. Yeah. And oh, this basil special, you know. Because I grew it. He grew this with, with my some, tomatoes. Some TL, some TLC. Dang, that does smell good. Thank you. Man, that smells awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> it's customary. You wait for someone to say thank you. Not so now. we're gonna chop up or mince. No, we're definitely not mincing. No, we're chopping. Yeah. That's probably an adequate amount. Uh, common misconception: uh, the stems on parsley are loaded with flavor. You do not need to get rid of them. Unless They're it's awesome. unless it's your show and you don't use them on your That's show. That's true. Okay. Bro, well, we are we are running out of space here, man. You need a bigger cutting board. I know. I'm gonna you need a bigger boat. Hey. You need a bigger boat. You're gonna need a bigger boat. That's awesome. You know that line was actually uh, improv. That yes. wasn't part of the script. We've talked about this before because so we good. talk about movies quite well, often. We got some decent smoke going on over here. Ooh. This smells so good. Let's. Ayo. Oh, bubbly Look at goodness. that. All right, let's throw some corn in here, Do shall it. we? And what kind of corn are we using today, CJ? None other than America's finest frozen. Actually, Publix. frozen corn does make a lot of sense. It's not just convenient. No, it's, it's where CJ lives in the frozen food aisle. But 
It actually makes a lot of sense for this recipe and corn freezes really, really well. So don't consider this a shortcut. This is opinion. the way to do it. I Cause it's gonna have time to cook with all of your ingredients without getting mushy. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Should we do two bags or just one? Do two. Let's do it. Pick them up. Pick them up. <laughs> Mock. Ding. Ding. Bird. Okay, let's beautiful. give this a light pop. Beauty. In our pancetta fat. That's stunning. Bro, it's gonna taste so good. Can you can you taste it already? I can smell how delicious it's gonna taste. Yeah. Let's add some seasoning, shall Love we? Love it. What are we gonna what are you I say all purpose. What do you well, say? Well, I say it's it's gonna fit. It's gonna I work. am going to be kind. And rewind. <laughs> Dude. Does anyone anybody? under 30 does not know that reference. Yeah, exactly. If you know that reference, please leave it in the comments yes. down below. Please be kind and rewind. Oh, dude, the, the glorious humidity of this. That's probably, that's probably the cloud's fault. That's yeah, definitely the cloud's fault. All right, so we're gonna do some of that. Humidity. We're gonna do a little bit of garlic powder. All right. You know, I'm, uh, Desiree can hate us all she wants, but I think garlic powder does really, really well on the griddle versus uh, minced garlic or fresh garlic. Although I do like fresh garlic Of better. course, it's amazing, but it's it burns powder. a lot easier. It does. It burns a lot it easier. Does. A little bit of... Hey, it's getting kind of dark out. Yeah, a little bit of pepper. Can you guys see how dark it's getting? I'm gonna brighten my camera up a little bit. I wish we could, like, incorporate, like, a twister scene from Wizard of Oz or something. Like, go, at this moment, go black and white. Here we go. Ready, CJ? Yep. You're supposed to click your heels. Oh. There's no place like home. I feel really, really stupid for having just done that. And if I only had a brain. Salt. <laughs> why would you ask me to do that? And why would I why do did that? You do it? <laughs> See all this over here? This liquid gold? Oh, that's that pancetta fat. Yeah, I'm bringing it in. Oh, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in for the real thing. So we have a little bit of fresh herb to cut up. Let's go take care of that. How about we do a uh, chiffonade, shall we? Yeah! I didn't mean to do a chiffonade this. <laughs> this is an elegant and bougie way of slicing up your fresh herbs. Yeah, yeah so you, you just roll them up just like Get that. It. CJ you just has stack them. fantastic technique. I know. It's, I, I learned it from a guy. You learned that from Snoop? <laughs> Snoop D-O-double-G. So then you're just going to slice right down to the stem. And now we have got these Perfect awesome ribbons. little ribbons. Yeah. yeah, I dig it. Yeah, me too, bro. Dude, I gotta make a room. All right, here we go. From, yeah, do it. Whoa, pro moves, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Unless I drop all pro of this. Pro moves. In which case, that would be awful. Wowzers. All right, bro. Let's mix that in in the middle. Yeah. Pro moves, DJ. Boom. That was nice. That was a good idea. Thank you. I'm gonna give you credit. Thank you. That was a fantastic idea. Can we take back one of my backseat driver? Cooking? Okay, so now you're down to like what? 14. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Now let's take a note out of uh, Blackstone Betty. Here we go. Getting some Betty action going on You didn't go to here. the middle aisle where things go to die. That's right. We're gonna grate some fresh Parmesan. All that's right, sunny. that's probably, it's gonna be pretty good. Let's go mix this up, shall we? Do it. Let's do it. Mm. So lovely. Bro. All right, dude, it's ready. I concur. Didn't take long. Should have concurred. Did you concur? I, well, I said it. You concur with me. Oh. That's how it goes. Is it? Well, that's what I said. Oh. So we're going to throw our uh, nice cutting board up here. We got a little platter. Let's see if I can get it in here. All right. Ooh, actually. I'm, actually, I'm proud of your spatula skills today. Oh, thanks, bud. Oh, there we go. It's stunning, man. Really is beautiful. Not to make too much of a mess here. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. Let's make our way back over here. All right. Oh, here's the money shot right here. Isn't All right, it? buddy. I'm ready for this. A little bit of fresh. Oh, lovely. You lovely thing. Some of our basil. Beauty. As they say in Belgium, pickety bang. And it's starting to well, drizzle. It, it is. All right. Let's get into shall this. we? Shall we do this? We shall. All right. I'm gonna leave yours right there. How about we get all up in there? 
I have a feeling we should have done, I should have done more tomatoes. Yeah? No, it looks pretty fantastic to me. Ha! 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 <laughs> it's that hot? There was no playing that one off. <laughs> oh, dang it. Oh, that was a cute little bite. It's not even that hot, but. Taking bacon 1.0 to two. Going to 2.0. Taking it. Rise up to bacon 3.0. <laughs> There's another really terrible thing I wish I wouldn't have done. This is really fantastic, really easy. And like, biggity seriously. bang. Biggity. Wait, did we discuss this? Bang. Is it big, like with G's or is it I think like it's C. C. Bickety. Bickety? Bickety bang. Um, it really doesn't have to be complicated to be brilliant. That's so, true. to that, I say <laughs> cheers. Cheers to you. Welcome to CJ's first cooking show where we cook and we quote. And we also burn our tongue on bacon fried corn 3.0. Well, we, we don't. Because not all of us have a little baby hot tongue. <laughs> My palate has been... Refined. Masterfully refined over Goodbye the years. Goodbye to Hello CJ's first <laughs> cooking show. <laughs> Hello CJ 4.0. That's Whoa! I just thought it rhymed better. Well, well cheers. So